Oh. You probably can't tell, can you? And I'm out of focus. Good. Good, good, good. Hello everybody and welcome to One Minute Wednesday. Uh, this week is all about polarizers. This wonderful filter I have here. Now I'm not usually the biggest fan of filters, I don't carry loads of them around when I go out taking photos, but I think polarizers in particular are really, really useful and an essential part of any photographer's kit. And the reason for that is because it's very, very difficult, if not impossible, to recreate what a polarizer can do in post-production. So what does this magical object do? In short, it cuts scattered light, reduces haze, increases contrast and reduces glare too. And in practice what that means is that sometimes when you use one of these you can really increase the punch and the clarity and the saturation of your shots. It also means that when you're shooting things like water and anything reflective really you can really cut out those reflections if they're not wanted by using a polarizer. Just like in this example where as you can see I've taken a photo of water and there's loads of glare on the water and then I've used a polarizer to cut out that glare uh, and really show out the true brownness of the sea. I think it's probably a good rule of thumb that when you're shooting a brown sea, just keep the glare. Now polarizers come in lots of different sizes and forms. I use circular polarizers, which means that basically you can twist them on the front of the lens to increase or reduce the effect. Uh, very handy and worth their weight in gold, but as good as they are, you have to use polarizers with care. So you have to be particularly careful when you're using these on wide angle lenses because what can happen if you're shooting the sky for example is that you can end up with lots of different tones through the sky um, and it can just look a bit odd. Also polarizers work best when they're shooting side on to a light source. So if the sun is over here it'll work really well. If the sun's over here it'll work really well. If the sun is behind you it won't work very well and if the sun's in front of you it won't work. Finally you should also be careful using these in low light. So as you can see it's to some extent dark which means it's a density filter and therefore it's cutting light to your lens. That means that if you're struggling to keep your shutter speed up enough and you haven't got access to a tripod or a stable platform for your photos, maybe you're shooting at dusk or something, you should maybe take your polarizer off because it's not helping you keep your shutter speed up. And also if you're shooting somewhere where you've got a really, really nice punchy reflection uh, that's working really well for you, take the polarizer off because naturally the polarizer is going to reduce that lovely reflection. Other than that, as I say, worth their weight in gold. They're not particularly expensive. Um, what I would say is that if you use expensive expensive lenses, don't buy cheap polarizers because you've paid money for good glass in your lenses um, and then if you're going to just ruin it by putting something cheap in front of it, uh, reducing the clarity and the sharpness of your shots potentially, then well, you've, you've just made a mistake. So yeah, if you've got expensive lenses, get expensive polarizers. If not, don't worry. And that, I think, about sums up polarizers. If I've missed anything, let me know below. Otherwise, I'll see you same time next week for another One Minute Wednesday. Thank you for watching.